Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs, and like you, I am very excited about the upcoming update to Minecraft. The Update Aquatic, or Minecraft 1.13, is going to breathe new life into Minecraft's oceans, with live fish, sea turtles, ocean plants, and a whole bunch of other features. But what's got me excited is the possibility for underwater builds, and in the most recent development snapshots, Mojang provided a way for us to build using slabs and stairs underwater without the air pockets you get in earlier versions of the game. So to celebrate, I decided to rebuild the one chunk pirate ship from my most recent tutorial here at the bottom of the ocean, and it looks really cool. But we've still got these air pockets around here, around the fences and trap doors and ladders, and wouldn't it be great if we could completely get rid of those? Well, it turns out we can, thanks to a trick I'm going to show you in this video. I've been able to remove all of those weirdly rendered air pockets and it makes me so, so happy to see the pirate ship here underwater in all its glory. It's all thanks to the water hacked tag, which you'll see shows up here on the right hand side of the debug data when I look at slabs and also when I look at stairs. The snapshots for 1.13 introduce data packs which allow you to tag blocks in certain ways, and blocks which are tagged with water underscore hacked will render as though they occupy the same space as a water source block with no weird pocket of flowing water around the sides. Now by default this only applies to slabs and stairs, but by creating our very own data pack, we can actually add this tag to whatever blocks we want. Now it's worth noting that Mojang has hinted at there being legit ways of doing this in-game once the 1.13 update is actually released, but for now if you want to get ahead of the curve when it comes to awesome underwater builds, this is how you do it. First of all, this trick only works in the Minecraft 1.13 snapshots, so you will need to set up a snapshot profile in your launcher. and. Mojang does recommend that you save anything snapshot related in a separate folder and do not apply any of this to current single player worlds you have in vanilla Minecraft because these are still very much a work in progress. Some of the bugs that are coming up in these can break your worlds. So make sure you generate a new profile for the snapshot. And I have this issue whereby if I change the resolution to something custom, it crashes. So if you're using a custom resolution and you can't get the launcher to launch the snapshot, switch that off and that should solve the problem. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. Make sure you're playing in the most recent snapshot. In my case, this is 18W08B. At the time of recording, that's the one I've been showing you footage from so far in this video. But we're not gonna be launching Minecraft just yet. Instead, we need to open up, in my case, Windows Explorer. Not entirely sure where this is going to be if you're on a Mac, but you need to go to your app data roaming folder and find the .minecraft folder here. And then <laughs> my <laughs> snapshot folder is called Snappy Snapperson, but in here you will find a saves folder where if you've created any worlds in the snapshots, you will find them saved in here. Now what we're going to look for is this data packs folder because we need to add something very special to this folder to get this water hacked tag to appear on blocks other than slabs and stairs. And what you're going to need is one of these. This is a data pack and it's saved as a zip file but inside the contents here are very specific. This is a lot like creating a resource pack for those of you guys who might have tried that before. It's essentially the same thing. Now first off you want to start by creating a text file in notepad or whatever text editing program you have and it needs to have this as the contents. That is pretty much it. You can copy this down space for space, word for word and I will leave some instructions on how to do this in the video description as well. But you need an open curly bracket, you need pack in quotes there, you need pack format 3 like so, you need description and whatever you want to name this and then two close brackets to make sure this all rounds out nicely. And you need to save this. You can probably save it as a text file at first, but then modify the file extension so it is saved as pack.mcmeta. So it's gonna read as an MC Meta file here in Windows Explorer. That is basically all you need to do for that. Now, the other thing you need to add to this zip file is a folder called data. Inside that needs to be a folder called Minecraft. All this is in lowercase. I think that makes a difference, but don't quote me on that. Inside the Minecraft folder is one called tags. Inside that is one called blocks. And finally, we have this file, which is a water underscore hacked dot JSON file. Now, these are what Minecraft reads to tag 
anything with specific data. In this case, it's going to read this and know that it needs to tag any blocks we name inside this file here with the water underscore hacked tag. Now I got the methodology of how to do this from a Reddit user by the name of Mookie Tanuki. So I should give a shout out to them right here because they showed on Reddit how to fix the rendering of water behind glass so that you could have better looking fish tanks in the snapshot already. And that's why a lot of this is currently taken up by all of the colors of stained glass. But up here, I added the blocks that were involved with my one chunk pirate ship build. So that's ladders, oak fences, oak doors, oak trap doors. I just kind of added a couple of other things as well. And you'll notice that blocks are in here as well because sometimes the water texture actually renders in on the underside of blocks. So anything in the sails like white wool, gray wool, light gray wool are all in here. Now, the individual names of these have to be very specific. They have to be the blocks as they are tagged in Minecraft's own code. And you can get to that very, very easily just by going up to a block in the game with F3 on, you will see the blocks actual name, it's coded name in Minecraft over there in the debug information. So all you need to do is note down which one of those you want or look them up. They're probably on the Minecraft wiki and add them to this list. Now it's worth noting that to change the list at all, you will probably have to extract the files. So if you extract them, say to your data packs folder, you're going to have a water underscore fix folder, which is going to have the data and the pack.mc meta files in here. Now, in order to get this back into a zip file, all you need to do is select these two items, go to send to and then compressed zipped folder. That's all you need to do. And then save it as water underscore fix and then move that back into your data packs folder and overwrite whatever file already exists there. Because the way these data packs are read, they need to be a zip file inside this folder and they need to just contain at the top level data and pack.mc meta and then it drills down into this water.hacked file. If it's not structured like this, then Minecraft won't be able to read it. And it took me about an hour to figure out exactly what I was doing wrong, but I had these folders nested further down inside another folder. So it didn't quite work out the first time I tried it, but I'm, I'm getting better at this as I go. And I think the results are worth it because as you guys have already seen, I think this pirate ship build looks immense underwater without all of those air pockets. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the final solution for this that Mojang implements when the aquatic update launches. But for now, you guys can get ahead of the game with this. As I said, I will be leaving a link to that data pack in the video description. So download that for yourself, add whatever items and blocks you want to it. And I would love to see some of you guys build. So hit me up on Twitter, on Instagram, at Pixel Riffs link me to your builds let me see what you guys can build underwater i would love to see what builds are coming out of the community from this stuff but that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching my name has been pixel if so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys soon take care bye for now